Stop scrolling. Let's talk about important advancements in chronic illness research. If you're new here, hi, I'm Alexis. I'm a forensic anthropology master's student. I have hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, and I talk to you about science. Ehlers-Danlos syndromes are a collection of hereditary genetic connective tissue disorders that can affect tissues throughout the human body. Each one has a known genetic cause except the most common one, hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos, until now. In a recent study of genetic exomes from 200 patients with hypermobile EDS, researchers found rare gene variants in 14 of the 15 calocrine genes. This included KLK15, which is involved in the breakdown and maintenance of tissue proteins, and researchers believe may eventually play a role in diagnosis of hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos. More importantly, KLK15 has a role in immune and mast cell function, indicating that it may also play a role in common comorbidities with EDS, like mast cell activation syndrome. While it's too early to use KLK15 as a diagnostic tool, this is a promising new step in EDS research. If you found this interesting, please follow along for more, and as always, the link to the article will be in the comments below. Please note that this research is still early and cannot yet be used as a diagnostic tool, and this is a simplification of a lot of information covered in the research.